note that after Bolat Nobu was declared the victor of this year's presidential election in Nigeria, Peter Obi also declared himself the winner. And of course, we had Atiku Abubakar, who also thinks that he is the winner of this year's presidential election. This topic has been trending. And of course, today we talk the Director General of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Akim, has claimed that the bimodal voter accreditation, that's accredi accreditation system, be vast was perverted during the presidential and national assembly elections. Appearing for an interview on channels television, Osi Tukon Aki said the Labour Party is compiling its results of the exercise. He also claimed that the party won and some states by wider margins. He said the Bivast has been perverted. Something that is to save a good cause has now been perverted because once the Bivars does its role, takes a picture of the result, the polling agents will have it. In his words, so the polling agents have all the results and we have our own. That is presently being compiled, he further stated. It has been searched before. About nine opinion polls prior to the election set Peter Obi was going to win. Inat has another opportunity on Saturday, governorship and state house of assembly elections to redeem itself. He further added that the presidential and, and national assembly election should be a source of worry for President Muhammadu Buhari, who promised to leave a credible exercise. He stated he wants Nigeria to remember him for the best election ever conducted. But look at the absurdity of what has happened. Is this the legacy he wants to bequeath? He stated, is this the legacy Hamadou Aijo wants to bequeath? The, the post ended. And still on that uh, election, we talk how Tinobu, Tinobu does a uh, Bola Tinobu visit Tony Elomelo, that's Elomelo at his residence. You know, uh, pictures and videos of how they shake hands, embrace each other, and laugh out loud was trending. How the president elect Bola Tinobu met with the chairman of the Harris holding Tony in a video posted on Instagram where Tony was seen hugging and shaking the president elect during his visit to his residence. And last night, the video trended and could be heard. Uh, that as a Tony could be heard saying, last man standing, he is still standing, the businessman also, on his Instagram page, share photos of himself and the president-elect, caption it, last night. It was an honor to receive the Nigerian president-elect at my home. We discussed ways in which the incoming administrations must empower and support an immensely talented Nigerian Youth, we have so much young potentials to unleash. The the post read this post too has been trending on social media. And while we talk that, we talk more updates on the 2023 Nigerian elections. How Peter Obi, the Labour Party candidate, who claims that who claims that he is having evidence to show that he won the February 25th presidential elections in Nigeria. He arrives at the court just yesterday. Thus, he arrives at the court of appeal in Abuja yesterday. And in, in his words, he stated, I have arrived at the appeal court in Abuja, the place of the Nigerian judiciary as a as a reverend national institution rem remains very important. We must believe in due process, he wrote on Twitter. The APC of Bolatinobu, who was declared the winner by the Inat, had responded that they were waiting for Peter Obi's team in court and had gone ahead to appoint a team of lawyers to defend them. How will you, that's how will you rate the speed? The speed and manner in which Nigerian judiciary has been he handling the election adjudication. This is a question many were asking on social media. That how will you credit or rate the way the court case has been going so far in regards to P 
Peter Obi and Atiku Abu Bakas request that the materials which was used for the election should be inspected once again. Well, as it is, our fingers are quite crossed, our eyes are wide open, our ears are itchy for more interesting and updates to this Nigerian election going on in Nigeria. We're bringing updates back to back to what is happening right there. At this juncture, we take you on our spot page for today. Let's find out what is making news.